So I was chatting to a friend of mine who's not too great on skateboards and he asked me, could I be an absolute noob and ride a Baja board? Let's find out today on The Boardroom. Hey guys, welcome to The Boardroom. I'm your host, Nick Kay. Now I've been riding the Baja board for a little while now, and while people are really impressed with it, the moment I tell them the board has a top speed of 50 kilometers per hour, they immediately become terrified of the board, to the point where they won't even stand on the board. Now as mentioned in my previous video, I still truly believe this is one of the safest boards on the market, and any new rider has absolutely nothing to be frightened of. And to prove my point, I've devised a little test. This is my neighbor Matt. He's a father of two and one of the most loved people in my neighborhood. And he's a perfect candidate for today's test because Matt has never ridden a skateboard in his entire life. So I'm joined here by my neighbor Matt. Say hi, Matt. Hi. Good job. So you have never ridden a skateboard in your life, is that right? No, never. Perfect. So let me tell you some stats about the board you're going to be riding today. The board you're riding today is called the Baja G4. It is a two-wheel drive, all-terrain board with 60 mil suspension. It has a top speed of 50 kilometers. Wow, that's yeah. fast. Yeah, I've actually gotten it to 55 kilometers, but uh, I'm not gonna brag. I'm scared shitless. Really? Yep. Never ridden a board? No. And how do you feel about riding what is known to be the king of all-terrain boards today? Are you a bit... I'm worried. You're worried? Yep, definitely worried. Okay. I assured Matt the board is entirely safe and that he has nothing to worry about. And that's because even though you can reach top speeds of over 50 kilometers per hour, it doesn't mean you have to. So what the Baja controller allows you to do is to fully customize every function of the board. For example, you can adjust the power, the braking, and the launch control. And what that means is you can adjust the board to go as slow or as fast as you're comfortable with. It's brilliant. So, so pull the trigger, go forward. And off he went at 20% power with a very ordinary top speed of seven kilometers per hour. At 20%, how do you feel? Yeah, I feel alright. We then turn up the power to 30%, giving Matt a top speed of 17 kilometers per hour. Right now he's on 30% and he's feeling really comfortable with it, so we'll uh, we'll try bump it up to 40 and see how it goes. I would feel this is a total success if I can get him up to 60% or at least over 50. So how's 30% feel? Yeah, it feels good, yep. Yeah. Yeah. 30 is good and uh, give me 60% Nick. Already? Yep. Yeah. I feel confident, it's the easiest, I just can't believe how easy it is to ride. It's amazing. So just so you're aware, like I mean, 60% is like what I ride at all the time. It's a top speed of about 30 Ks. Are you sure you feel comfortable doing that on this? I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. You don't have to throttle all the way. You can ride a half throttle at first and then when you feel more comfortable, open it up on a straight and then slowly apply the brake. Get used to like the braking and everything else. It's exciting, very exciting, love it. The now entirely confident Matt was riding along with a top speed of 30 kilometers per hour, and by his own accord decided to just take the board off road. I think he likes it. I do, love it, <laughs> love it. It eventually got to the point where I couldn't even get Matt off the board. So you've been riding for about an hour now. I mean, how do you feel after? I mean, it's been your first time on a board. Ever. Yeah. It's very comfortable. It gives you a workout. Definitely not. Calves are... <clears throat> had a workout. I didn't think... I'm going to get a workout off the board too, so it's, it's been great. Good exercise. You wouldn't think it'd be exercise because uh, you're not scooting it along. So it's a great body flexing workout as well as great fun. So. Thanks very much, Nick. That's Matt, everyone. Thank you, Matt. No worries. Cool. Okay. Okay. And there you have it. As extreme as the Baja board is, there's really nothing to be scared of. And if you're looking to test ride one of these, I've put a link in the description below so you can contact Baja board and organize a ride with them. Also, if you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe so we can bring you more awesome boards to review. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope to see you next time on The Boardroom. <laughs>